Chapter 8 Stay fresh in your mind and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. The book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 23 The current problem as I see it in charismatic circles is imitations. In one form it shows itself in actual word by word of those that we worship as successful and so we lose the authenticity of what God originally intended for us while on the other extreme it shows itself in the form of old anointing. I will explain if you pay a close attention. Old Eli knew that God was indeed speaking to his young assistant in God's house. He instructed Samuel how to respond to the voice the next time it came. The book of First Samuel chapter 3 verse 9. Yet he himself had ceased hearing God's voice a long time before this. Samuel did it, and God gave him instructions on the ministry ahead. Now, Samuel must have taken Eli to be a very spiritual person, only because he himself was a youth who had no experience in this field. We often watch TV and see preachers practice one of knowledge, and we say, aha, this man is very deep in the things of God. We forget to distinguish the depth of fresh anointing. Those who run to finish the race must know that this race is not for the swift or battle for the strong. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 11 It is the Lord who sows mercy. The book of Romans chapter 9 verse 16 The knowledge of the above will give us a mind thus totally dependent upon God. These promises and admonitions do give us the opportunity to go to God for fresh anointing, for renewal of mind. If we depend upon the momentum of the old initial anointing, we will slacken and even give up the race. The fresh anointing will give us new insights and drive us away from imitations of others or the old as things used to be like Eli. Here is another subtle area that we must we must watch very carefully. It is in the area of uh, prophecies. It is in the area of prophecies. 